Hey ya, uh, YouTubers! Tasman here, bringing you another episode of Tasman Sky Mod. And I guess it was just a fluke. It, I mean, I mean, six, seven views is actually normal. Sad to say, but it's kind of normal for um, these episodes and stuff. And so, if people are actually still enjoying it, then I will keep it going for now, anyway. Uh, so. Anyway, I guess people just don't like the farming aspect because Farmer Taz episode has not done well. No views or anything like that. Well, I don't know. I haven't checked lately. But anyway, so let's continue on. So um, I've got some things ready for today, but I wanted to show you. I don't remember. Did we already talk about uh, how I've got those four guys up to tens? I think we did. If not, let's just quickly... Yeah, we did, because we actually went and uh, made our eggplant stuff. Uh -huh. Well, today we have some crafting stuff we want to do. Let's jump into first-person view. Um, so, I have some crafting tables up there, but I think I want to do the crafting things down this way first. So uh, what we want to do is we want to be able to uh, go to other dimensions. And so I've got the thing set up. I think I have everything and all the recipes for us so we can see how to uh, create the RF tools that we need for other dimensions. Um, and then up there, because once you're in other dimensions, you'll have aura nodes and fun stuff like that. We'll also work on some of the farm craft stuff. So I have a ton of workbenches down here. And the first one is it can get kind of noisy. So this isn't really, I think this is actually from, I kind of want to say open blocks, but maybe not. Uh, but we get that going on all the time with all those trees being broke down and it'd be nice if we're going to be working down here to not have to listen to the ch -ch 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 sound <laughs> so our first thing we're going to build is a sound muffler and i'm not 100 percent sure how good this is going to work but basically all you need is a note block uh there you go there's some noise for you uh, and the note block is simply wood planks uh surrounding a redstone dust and you can get this guy once you put the note block around uh, you have all this wool and there you go and we're gonna set this right here now the way this block works if you're not familiar with it this is kind of the center it's right underneath our thing so I'm hoping that this will work so I think if we shift right click it control right I can't remember shift punch it I don't know, I thought it was shift right click and it would say, you put cotton in your ears or something like that. So right now I don't hear it breaking any stuff, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and take this guy down real quick. Am I seeing like smoke coming out of the ground here? Am I just being delusional? I think I'm being delusional. All right, so first thing we're gonna make, man, it got really quiet. <laughs> I don't hear anything that's good though all right so first thing we want to make is actually let me check something I like to have the music on just a little bit in the background just to give us some ambiance all right so first thing we're gonna make is some machine frames so all the RT tools use these type of machine frames and they're relatively easy to make it's just golding uh, gold nuggets uh, gold, uh, <laughs> I can't talk, iron ingots, and lapis. And we get all this stuff from our sieving. So we're going to make 10 of these. I don't know that we actually need 10, but at some point we'll probably make more things. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, make, oh, I don't remember what this is. Oh, we need to take our one, one of our machine blocks here, and this will make our dimension inscriber. So in order to create a dimension, you have to have a dimension inscriber. This takes a, a dimension template, I think it's called. We'll see in the next thing. And this makes it so that we can actually um, 
create a, a blank dimension. All right, so there's that, and you saw the recipe. I left it up for a little while. That's not so quiet. Is this thing not working? <laughs> I might have to figure out how to make this thing work. I could have swore it was alt. No, I can't remember. But oh, it's from extra utilities. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, so let's see. We did the inscriber. Next, in order to inscribe things, we need to make these empty dimension tabs. So these have no nothing in them right now. Basically, they're completely blank. And that's just five pieces of paper, which are a tree we planted last episode. Helps a lot. And for redstone, and we can get one of those. The other thing we might want is, even though it says it's random and stuff, when you put something in the inscriber which doesn't use any power, uh, and you put this in, if you inscribe it multiple times, you get the exact same world. So one thing we'll need is a dimlet that gives us a number. So this is digit zero dimlet, and it's simply three redstone, redstone torch, and three paper. Now, if we want to get another one, so this is digit zero, as you can read there. If we put it in again, it becomes digit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it rounds back down to zero. So you can use basically nine, well, 10, because of zero. Uh, you can have 10 unique dimensions off of the random one. All right, so I think that's all these things. Let's go ahead and break these. What's well, doing a good job of muting how loud my uh, hitting these benches goes. So this is the beginning parts of, of doing your thing. So let's go ahead, we're gonna throw this down. We'll be able to move this, but this is our inscriber right here. And all we have to do is we can put this guy in there and when we hit store, it'll create a new dimension. And we could give it a name if we want. We can call it Oops, my T doesn't always type. Type T. <laughs> Alright, we'll just call it, uh, since T doesn't want to type. I mean, it works fine when I'm typing and stuff, but for some reason in this, in this, uh, mod pack, or when playing Minecraft Sky Mod, it doesn't always work. T, 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 T. Shift T. No, no, no. Alright, so let's just call it, uh, something without a T. world <laughs> how's that now like I said if we want we can put the digit in uh, our digit thing in there and if we store it now you'll see that this actually says it has digit zero and we can see uh, some information about this world so uh, the dimension is not powered right now on this it hasn't been created creation cost is 2,000 RFs per tick maintenance cost is going to be 10 RF per tick and just when it's uh, running, it'll take 10, 10 RF per tick. Uh, and tick cost is 100 ticks. Man, I wanted those trees to be quiet. Now, if we find that this is an un un uh, unhospitable uh, dimension, we can always take this back and click extract, and it will give us back our dimlet and give us back an empty thing. And then we can go increment our, di uh, our, our digit our digit tab, whatever we want to call it, and then we can restore it and get a new dimension. So there's our dimension. We'll just go ahead and hold on that for now. Uh, let's come back over here for our other things we need. So here we will make, as I recall, I think this is the dialer. Let's put that over there. So once again, it, this one is probably the more expensive one out of all our different things because it uses two diamonds and an emerald. Uh, but if we take one of these, you can see here we get the, oh, the dimension builder. This is what actually creates the dimension. We might have to move this area somewhere else because that's noisy. My little uh, cotton swab here isn't doing anything except for muting this stuff. All right, so. We'll let that run out, okay. So there we go, this is our dimension builder and when it has power, it will build us our beautiful dimension. 
oh whoops I don't want to break that the next thing we have this is our dimension dialer I believe yes our dialing device and it's really easy also just the machine frame six redstone dust and then two redstone torches and this will give us our dialing device this is for actually dialing into our dimension so that when we get on the teleporter we teleport to our dimension noisy now this one is more or less an optional you do not need this in order to uh, in order to uh, have a dimension and stuff like this but this is the dimension monitor if I'm correct and what this will do is uh, or the analyzer so this will tell us beforehand if the dimension we're going to is safe and wow it's loud A lot of leaves being broken. Holy cow, that's a lot of leaves. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to move this area. I got an idea. Just for the little bit. Let's go ahead and unpower our harvester it'll run for just a tiny bit without the power being in it but that'll stop it I'll have to remember to turn that on a little bit later we're gonna get a lot of trees up there though uh, so anyway what we have here is the analyzer and this will actually turn the beam uh, of your teleporter the uh, matter transmitter uh, it will either turn it red yellow or green green means everything's hunky-dory yellow means uh, there might be some issues like it might be a hostile dimension and red means you're most likely gonna just die when you go there so we're gonna make that so now we got some nice music going in the background all right so finally with all the other things we need to have our actual dimension um, uh, the matter transmitter and receiver so this one I believe is the matter transmitter and once again we just need to put our block in there and we're gonna want two of these because uh, we want one here locally and then we want to place one when we get to our new dimension so that we can get back so we're gonna make two of those and as you see three three ender pearls two redstone dust three iron really easy the receiver is just the opposite of that and we only actually need one of these I don't know why I've made two uh, and the reason is when you create a new dimension it comes fully equipped with a matter receiver so anytime you create a new dimension and go to it you definitely want to take one of these you want to take some source of power you might want to make actually you want to take another dimension dialer too, uh, the dialing device um, but we don't need two of these guys so we good there uh, there all right so those are the components we need basically for uh, accessing a dimension or creating and getting to a dimension and we need to power these up we'll probably do that in the next episode because we took a little bit time doing this let's go ahead and break these two guys bloop, bloop. I made so many crafting stations, workstations, whatever you want to call them. This is disappointing. Hopefully I'm doing it wrong and I just haven't put the wax in my ear or whatever the heck it says. Is it middle click? Uh, no. I'll have to look that up. Uh, and then let's go ahead and grab this guy. Whoop, right here. Bing. There we go. All right. Why do I keep seeing smoke come up from down there? Is it is it me? Is it because I'm running around or something? I do not know. All right, so let's go look at our next items. Let's go ahead and turn this back on because I guarantee I will forget it if I don't. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Huh. <laughs> no. 
Oh, I think I have less bat. Uh, oops, turned into bat. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to do in our world for exploring and stuff is we're going to want to... Oh, I can't quite get there. All right, let's try this. All right. Yeah, look at all the trees that are starting to form up here. Not good. All right, let's see. Can we get in there? Uh, nope. There we go. Ha ha. All right, so we're going to get away from that. Uh, let's turn back into Taz. Oh. That is going to be noisy. I'm going to have to build. I'm going to have to get power and stuff. We'll do that in the next episode. I'll build a little area far away from that thing. Um, where maybe we'll build it off this way just a little bit or something. I don't know. Uh, but uh, we'll be able to go to our new dimension and, and play with our different things. So let's go ahead over here now. Now that we have all this fun stuff. We want to eat. Right? Alright, so now we're going to come over here and get into some of our Thomcraft stuff. And I have a few tables. We're going to start over here. So Thomcraft, one of the main thing you're going to need is a wand. Actually, let's do this real quick, just while I'm thinking of it. We need uh, some crystals. And I've already got one, but I'm going to grab this other one real quick. And if you use the hammer on grass, I don't know if it works on regular dirt. Probably does. Uh, you can get these shards. Shards, not crystal. So we're going to take that shard and just put it there. And then we're going to take this guy and put a rat there. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do um, in Thomcraft is make a wand. Your magic wand. It's uh, one of the more important tools you have in Thomcraft. You use it for lots of things. And to make a wand, it's really easy, actually. You just simply, first you take, uh, well, 10 iron nuggets and you put them in kind of like you're making a hat and you'll get these little iron caps boop, boop, just like that then you go and you place the iron caps above and below a stick and that gives you a wand it's kind of funny you actually place it this way and it makes it this way I wonder if it's if this shaped nope it's not okay so uh Anyway, that gives us our wand, and this becomes a very important tool for many reasons. Um, one of the most useful utilities you can have with uh, Thomcraft is called the Thomonomicon, or Thomonomic, I can't say it, Thomonomicon, something like that. And all you have to do is if you have a bookshelf, which is three books and six planks above and below, you can make a bookshelf. I'm sure you guys already know how to do that. That's standard Minecraft. Uh, you just take your wand and there you go. You right click on the bookshelf, it turns into a glowy book called the Thomonomicon. I wonder if that glows every time you throw it. Nope, just when it's created. All right, and in the Thomonomicon, you can see here we have all this fun stuff we can do. Oh, and you can oh, hit back. So uh, the ones that are blinking are the ones that you haven't researched yet. So. Uh, this will actually walk you through many, many things. So here's our Thomonomicon. Tells us how to make it, which is kind of funny because you can't make it without it. Uh, you, you know, this tells you how to make it. However, you, if you don't know already how to make it, I don't know. It's kind of silly. Uh, hit escape. Uh, the next thing it's going to want us to do is do research. Uh, and for that, we need a research table. And it tells you here, you also will want a... Uh, whatchamacallit thing. We're going to make that as well. Uh, you're going to want all this. So we're going to make some of these things and I'm going to explain them as we go. So when you get it, go ahead, look at your Thomonomicon and enjoy. All right, so the next part we're going to make is right here. This is that uh, Thomonometer or whatever. Yeah, the Thomometer. Uh, and this is some shards. It doesn't matter whether it's earth or anything else. I just used earth because I have the grass right here. And I just used the hammer to get it. Piece of glass, two gold. And what this does is let you analyze things. So if we go to this, you can see here, uh, we're looking at a, a cobblestone slab. And here's the cobblestone itself. If I right click and hold it, 
I get that little thing. And as you can see, we got one of those things <laughs> and one of the mountains. I can't remember what that one is. Um, and we can we can analyze lots and lots of things and get information. Now, if you look down at the bottom uh, right corner, you can see it writing stuff. If you do that and you get this, nothing can be learned from this. That means nothing can be learned from this. So if we look at the chunk loader here, oh, hold shift. If it's something that opens up, now as you can see here, it says to understand this, you need to study crystals, which means I need to have more crystal knowledge. But uh, hold shift if you have things that open up. So there we got a fire, one of those black things, and six mountain. Here's our chest. Looks like in order to understand this, we need to study plants. Let's go ahead and study the grass real quick. Nope, we need to study life. So as you do things, you're going to unlock other things. So we need to study life. So maybe if we went and scanned our animals over there and stuff, uh, we would be able to get more. So there we go. We just got that. Uh, you discovered Lux, and we gained three Lux. Oh, look, it tells us what it is. And we discovered new research. So as we go, we unlock new things. And that one we could break. Oh, oh, we're out of time too, by the way. We're going to finish getting these last couple pieces. So the next thing we have here is the table. And as you can see, we're going to make three of these. Uh, because one, we use this kind of for a workbench type thing. I can't remember what it's called. And we also use this for our uh, main inscribing table. So what we want to do is, once again, throw down one table here. And let's just do two right like that. And if we take this table, oh, we just had a crash. This happens a lot. I, I'm trying to figure out what's causing this crash. Let's just see if it comes back up right away. So why we wait for my server to come up, it usually takes a minute. Um, so why we want those tables is, one becomes a multi-block thing. Um, we'll talk about that as soon as we get in. The other one is kind of like a workbench for doing your different crafting type things and stuff. Come on, hurry up. Nope, come up. <coughs> All right, I might end up just pausing it here until it comes back up. I don't want you guys to have to watch me do this part. Okay, we back. All right, so anyway, um, oh, it didn't even register that we made our tables. So as you can see, table is really simple. Uh, well, for what we want, there's nine half slabs and then six uh, uh, wooden planks. So we're going to go ahead and do this again and hopefully don't crash this time. I'm going to put two there and one there. So uh, with the one, what we want to do is right click on it with our wand and it turns into the table here. And then we can grab our wand back out. Uh, this is for doing Thomcraft crafting. And usually you'll, no, we'll, we'll go over that as we go. The second one, we don't want to use our wand on. We want to, this one's done. We want to come over to this crafting table and we want to craft something very simple right here. So uh, we just take a glass bottle, a feather, and an ink sack, and we get the scribing tools. Now, when you're doing scribe, when you're inscribing and stuff like that, uh, you will slowly run this ink out. And to replace the ink, all you have to do is put that in your in your crafting area, or maybe even you, you could even do it right here with a new ink sack, and it will fill it right up. Whoop. I guess we need you. And if we click on this multi-structure thing, now we have our workbench type table. Now you can see the things that we've actually researched. We have 24 perdito. Uh, we have air. As you can see, that's air. That's entropy, chaos, destruction. We have earth. We have some water. We have fire and all this fun stuff. Some ordo. Now, when we're researching things, we'll go over this a little later, we kind of have a little puzzle game that we do. We try and connect it all together, and if we get it connected, um, 
we actually get the research, which is pretty cool. So I think that's about it, guys. We are out of time. Um, let's go ahead and scan an animal real quick. Just see what it says. I'll probably say, you need to scan life. That is life. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below to understand you need to study things that move. So like trapdoors, maybe. Let's scan a trapdoor. Now we need to study plants. Let's try a cow or a chicken. And then we'll be done. Cow. Nope, things to move. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, there's there's tons. I mean, you can study like sand here. We can do that. Uh, the glowstone down here, I believe we can do. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it just yet. Oh yeah, we did. Oh, we did the. Wait, did we do the glowstone or the water itself? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, you scan just everything. And this will also make it so you can see aura nodes easier. They actually stick out. Didn't I do grass block? Oh no, I needed life for that. How about a ladder? Nope, need plants. Uh, we didn't do that either. So there you go. Let's try this. Spirits. That's what you do. You just run around scanning everything under the sun. Oh, we got a paper. And we need plants. <laughs> More studying of plants. How about leaves? <laughs> it goes on and on. Oh, here's regular dirt. Ding. So the more things you scan, the... Oh, hello. Oh, tools. Uh, the more more advanced it'll get, the further along you'll get and stuff like that. Uh, can I scan lava? Oh, yeah. We already scanned water. So, there we have it. I, I could do this all day. Just run around scanning everything. You can even scan your, your bad guys over there. But we're, we're way over time now. Okay, we'll go scan the bad guy once. See, can we do the gate yet? No. Okay. How about a creeper? Uh, uh, gunpowder. Got some gunpowder. Zombie? Creeper. Says, nope, can't get those. We can scan their drops. Nope. Alright, well, there we go. Oh, we could have done that. Let's do that. Throw, throw, throw. All right. So a lot of things you can actually just toss in front of you. Nope, we need to study beast. Great. All right, well, we need to study a lot of stuff. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this. Uh, I'm really enjoying uh, the makings of it and stuff. Um, I I'm enjoy playing it. So uh, if you do, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. And until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.